Are drones still bulky, remote-controlled airplane toys to you? If that's the case, then this is the video for you, because today I'm going to tell you that drones are so much more. We are talking indoor drone navigation. So before we dive in, let's start at the beginning. What is a drone? A drone is an unmanned aircraft. And first off, it can be remotely controlled like you would with a child's race car. But it can also fly autonomously. In other words, that means that it can fly independently without a human telling it where to go. Autonomous drones usually use GPS signals to navigate on their own and they fly on pre-programmed routes or to certain coordinates. But when it comes to indoor navigation, autonomous drones face a huge challenge. Indoors, the GPS signals are blocked by roofs and walls and other objects that are in between the satellite and the drone. And therefore, we cannot rely on our trusted GPS navigation. This is why some of the smartest engineers have crafted indoor navigation solutions. The first way of tackling indoor drone navigation involves ultra-wideband. Ultra-wideband is a communications technology that is mostly used in short-range wireless applications. At the moment, ultra-wideband is the most precise method for indoor positioning available and it works the following way. You place ultra-wideband beacons inside a building. The beacons should be at the corners of a space and they should be about 40 meters apart. Now at the same time, you attach a location tag on the drone, which allows the ultra-wideband beacons to track its location up to 30 centimeters accuracy. The second method for indoor drone navigation uses QR codes or markers. And this method is relatively cheap and is still accurate enough for indoor drone use. Similarly to the ultra wideband method, you put QR code stickers in every corner of the room and you let the drone scan the codes as it reaches the wall. The QR code then directs the drone to go left or to go right, just so it doesn't hit the wall. But why should you care about indoor drone navigation at all? Well, the small drone market is estimated to reach over $40 billion by 2025. And the indoor navigation market is expected to exceed $43 million in that same year. But if the numbers don't speak to you, and I get that, let these cool applications do the talking. Amazon launched the Ring Always Home, and this is a compact, lightweight, autonomous flying camera. The Ring functions as a camera that gives you visibility when you are not at home. So for example, when your security alarm goes off, it flies to the intruded area to give you an immediate visual of what is going on. Critics, they talk about the topic of privacy that comes along with this autonomous camera but there is no doubt that this is a great example of indoor navigation. Outside of the home, startup Putz Indoor Drone Solutions is developing mini drones who are fighting insects in Dutch greenhouses. The tiny air force that they're creating is killing moths and other insects to protect the crops that are grown inside these greenhouses. And this indoor navigation use case, it requires incredible precision because you don't want to fly into the crops or even into the growers who are working. Our last example of indoor drone navigation comes from the British Army. There, the I-9 drone is equipped with a stabilized shotgun to assist the British Armed Forces in operations involving indoor fighting. So even, and also, the defense industry is hopping on the indoor navigation trend. So as you can see, the applications of indoor drone navigation are broader than ever, and they are ready to be adopted into our daily lives. What other technology would you like us to update you on next? Let us know in the comments below and check us out at wearebit.com. See you soon.